made history last year performing mm. in front of 53,000 people yeah, in Philadelphia. The first comedian ever yeah. to perform in an at-capacity football stadium. Ooh. It's all documented mm. in his new stand-up movie called Kevin Hart, What Now? Oh. And in his routine, he spares no one, not even his seven-year-old son. Watch. Nobody. <laughs> he put the trash in the trash can, start walking back. Out of nowhere, my son takes off running. He's running as fast as he can. I got scared because I couldn't see what he was running from. I shut the door. I told myself, depending on what it was, was going to determine if I opened up the door or not when he got back. If it was something crazy, I was just going to put my hand on the glass. I was going to say, son, touch the glass one last time. I hate that it had to be this way. <laughs> Your own son? My own son really? Man. You're vicious, hey, man. Listen, it's called good parenting. That's what I call it. <laughs> How are you? I'm good, man. Good to see you. Good to see you. When did it hit you? Mm -hmm. Standing on that stage, 53,000 people. I am a kid from Philadelphia, grew up with some challenges in my family, mm -hmm. former shoe salesman, yes. and 53,000 people paid money to watch me tell jokes. Uh, I mean, look, it's an unbelievable feeling. And you know what? I brought it to Philadelphia for a reason. That's where I was born and raised. I am the man that I am today because of the city of Philadelphia. So to be able to go back to my hometown and make history, sell out the Lincoln Financial Stadium, it's unreal. And to know that that amount of people came out to laugh, that's a big deal. And I a good thing, it was so many different races. I had everybody in there, man. People, people. I put a bunch of people that forgot about whatever problems were going on in the world and came out for a moment of a good time. I saw you do stand-up one time, and you, you, you find a way at some point to connect with the audience, mm -hmm. but it's usually a more intimate audience. How do you connect with 53,000 people? That's a very good question. That's the beauty of Kevin Hart. See, the, thing, <laughs> the thing about me, man, no, you know what? I love to take uh, those big environments and turn them into intimate settings. And the best way to do that is to engage. You know, I'm a storyteller. So everything that I'm saying, you're following. And the secret is when you're in the stadium, those monitors are huge. So no matter where you are, you feel like you're right there. You feel like you're a part of the show. How long does it take to come down from that high? Uh, I'm still on it. Yeah. I'm still on it. This is a good drug. Speaking of highs, just got married recently. I did get yeah. married, man. What would Mrs. Kevin Hart tell me is the best thing about marry being married to Kevin Hart? Uh, my body. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, if I had to say, uh, you know, my body. It's, yeah. pretty, uh, it's pretty incredible right now. And by the way, it's funny you mention it because Hoda saw you in the gym this morning. She did. She was on that stair climber getting it. Yeah. A little aggressive. Very aggressive <laughs> on the stair climber. Uh, you know, she was, stand, she was stepping with an attitude. Yeah. Um, but it was good to see her up early that morning. Real quick, we like playing games when you're here. So in honor of your new concert film, What Now? Here's mm -hmm. the game called what now? I like this game. You wake up as president of the United States tomorrow. What now? If I wake up as president of the yeah. United States, I'm, I'm going to take everybody's shoestrings uh, just because I can. I'm the president, and I don't want people to have shoestrings anymore. You wake up, you're the new James Bond tomorrow. What now? Oh, my goodness. Uh, if I'm the new James Bond, I'm... I can't say that I'm married. Okay. Uh, um, uh, that's a tough one. Okay. I'm going to change my suits to jean sets. <laughs> it's a new look for 007. Look, yes. Last one real quick. Genie gives you three wishes. Give me one. A genie gives me three yeah, wishes. Yeah, what now? My biggest wish would be to bring people closer together. And a time and state where our world is today, I would love to see people take steps forward and not backwards. I want to see our world in a better place. I love to live, love, and laugh, and I love to spread that all over. And I would love everybody to get that disease because I think it's contagious. Wow. That's what I would do. That's nice. Oh, I got deep on you, you for did. a second. You did, unexpectedly. Yeah, I did. You almost cried. <laughs> what now? I almost made you cry this morning. I got a gift for you. I got a gift for you. Okay. Okay, give my gift. Hurry up. Give my gift, okay? Look, I own these headphones. These are mine. I'm a businessman. But because you're always good to me, you get a pair before anybody else. Go. Take it. Smart headphones. What about don't, everybody else? Do you I bring enough for everybody? I don't everybody? know them. I don't know them. <laughs> I'm not going to be good to everybody, but it's music headphones. They're really, really good. It. Thank it's you so much device. for those. That's for you, big guy. Thanks, bud. I See appreciate that? It. Nice Kevin guy. Hart, what now from our sister company, Universal, opens up on Friday. Great Ooh, to have you here. It's always good to be here. Go see my movie! <laughs> <laughs> Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.